Today I want to talk about an amazing tutorial and prompts that I found that specifically discusses how to make some unique and awesome looking vector illustrations and logos. I actually want to share with you guys where I found this full tutorial and all these awesome prompts that we're working on today. And I found this on the Twitter username Chase Lean. And so far, this is the best one I've found. There are two important things that you want to keep in mind when generating with this prompt. Specify the subject. Once you specify the subject, you then want to provide it with the details of what it's actually doing. So for example, if I'm a man on the phone, don't bother me. I'm on the phone right now trying to make deals. Subject man and my action is on the phone. That way you can make the picture it's generating a little bit more interesting. Stay tuned because we have some awesome prompts to share. PNG white background, man on the phone, and the style of animated illustrations. Lounge, atmosphere, full body, text-based, style raw. And then once I expand it, you can see exactly what I got right here. So keeping these things in mind, when I scroll up, look at this. Same sort of prompt, but now this time I just changed up the environment a little bit. So this time I put a man on the computer, but now the environment is going to be in an office setting. So I get the same sort of theme. Same sort of style, ones in a lounge setting. Okay, moving on. Now for part two, the next thing you want to do is control the amount of detail in the image. And you can do this by changing the stylized value. The default value is 100. You can make flatter images with less detail with a lower stylized value, like 25 or even zero. So now let's try that with the new prompt and adding that in towards the end of it. So I'll copy this right here. I'll come on back down to mid journey and hit my slash command, imagine. I'll copy the prompt in. Now this time, what I'm going to do is after where I put style raw let's go ahead and add now stylize zero and then hit enter and then watch this now here we go here is with the stylize number zero and you can kind of see the difference within the two Okay, so check this one out that Chase Lean has on this post right here. Let's go ahead and just copy and paste this prompt right here. Let's go on back over here to Mid Journey right now. Now, don't forget and keep in mind that once we're done with this little Mid Journey part, I'm going to show you exactly how to utilize these prompts and make these prompts look great too, utilizing Leonardo AI. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and paste in what we have. And again, replace anything within the bracket of text with what you want. Okay, so cool. There you have it. Here's what it made for us utilizing that prompt. I like this. Now, this is going to be the group brainstorming session. Now this next one is going to be how to create an entire pack of illustrations. Let's go ahead and just copy this as is and then fill in the blanks with what we want instead. It says you want a pack of similar images, it says right here. It also says nulling style. Sometimes Mid Journey doesn't listen to your instructions. Adding this makes the prompt more stable. Okay, pretty cool. We're going to get this quadrant image and then within each quadrant we'll have a series of different images. Let's go to Mid Journey and then try this for ourselves. So now that I have the prompt actually pasted in, let's go ahead and change the subjects with what we're looking for. For. So you can see what I typed in. Everything's the same. I just typed in a different environment and a different subject. So I have people at the beach and then I have for my environment a beach atmosphere and then see what happens here. Now I'll check out this right here. It gave us exactly what we're looking for. We have four different areas and then within each area it gives us definitely more than one image. So the first one we have these three. Let's go ahead and open this up a little bit. Here we go. And then here's our vector images. Now at the very end let's add our stylized. Let's add that to 100. Boom. Now check this out. This one I like a lot. Open up in browser. Let me show you a closer look. Now look at this one right here. So same thing. People outside. This time park atmosphere. Pretty happy with this one. Again this is utilizing the stylized 100 at the end so that way it gives us a lot more detail detail. Now let's go ahead and go to Leonardo AI. Although Leonardo AI is my favorite AI generating tool, it does struggle a little bit when it's trying to create some vector illustrations or vector logos in comparison to Mid Journey. But I did find that this trick does work quite well. And you can see on my screen right here, here's a series of three different foxes. And then specifically this one right here, I think actually did a fantastic job. Now you can get a complete different variation and set of what this fox will look like, all dependent upon what you're choosing as your fine tuned model. Here's how I was able to kind of get a clean vector style image specifically in Leonardo. So I went over here to prompt generation. So it's next to image generation. I click select prompt generation. And then what I typed in specifically was something very simple. I just typed in 
vector logo for a fox. The one at the top, a vibrant abstract vector logo of a fox with a bright orange and yellow gradient. That seemed to work pretty well. Although the background looks very good, you could easily remove or change this background using a different AI tool. So like something like this I would use. So if I went ahead and hit download, I'll show you exactly what I would do. So after I have that image downloaded, all I would do was just click and drag this actual file from Leonardo AI into a tool like Canva. And then once it's done uploading, just click it, bring it into here like this. And now I have this nice little fox created from Leonardo AI, hit edit photo. And now I'll just simply remove the background using the BG remover tool. And then look, just like this, it's going to easily remove the background. And now I have this perfect PNG fox vector style illustration white background. I'll hit share, hit download, and now make sure I have the transparent background selected. It's PNG file, hit download. There we go. There's our friendly little fox vector style and then now going back over to Leonardo AI you can see what it got for us right here I kind of did this in just a very quick way but you can see that although Leonardo AI is an amazing tool it might take a little bit extra creativity and work but you can make it work so one thing to mention you can also come in here and then you could simply remove the background by just hovering over these tools in Leonardo AI now it will cost you two extra tokens but watch this once I just click remove background boom I'll have this background removed completely in Leonardo AI and then I I can hit this button again to view it and then there we have it right here so now i'll go ahead and download this one and then there you have it there's the one directly downloaded from leonardo ai thanks so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out but until then we'll see you next time